Jesus Christ, hello. Welcome to the sickness. I mean, welcome to the stream. Oh boy. I was kind of out of commission last week. Because I was kind of sick. Kind of. Ooh. That basically means general fatigue, headaches, and then the headaches disappeared. Except every time I moved my eyes, it felt like I was scraping them against sandpaper. It's like, whoa! Never had that before. So, I, I mostly slept last week. Because I just... I don't know. I had... I was... I was in shit. But... I'm a lot better now. Basically... Back to zero, huh? So... Uh, I have some... Some of this watered down store bought coffee garbage. I like so much. Let's try not to, not uh, flipping the cup over. All right. I looked up online what the best methods for farming cards are. Now people were like, hey. To the tower. Uh, this bad boy. You know, when you have to go into the tower and be like, hey gargoyles, I got enough food, and then you go in, and so on and so forth. Because it's slow, but, I mean, even though it's slow, it's still a very surefire way of flipping through the cards in your deck and having uh, multiple retries without just going back into the overview and restarting the quest and so on and so forth. And people were like, hey, there's a better word way. And it's the Emperor. Yes, the Emperor. The one I hated when I first tried it and then it wasn't really that difficult because I realized I hated it because of Malaclipse's story. That was the shit one, not the actual thing. And there was another one, but I forgot. Oh yeah, actually, I remember. How does this work? Sorry. The mages. Magician. Ma magic. Magician. Some people said that this was also pretty good. Rescue missing empire soldiers from a town plagued with corruption. Lose cards for every empire killed. Prepare to fight corrupted. So some people said this was good. I don't know why. I don't know what the gimmick is with this. So yeah. No one said the hermit. And I guess it's because it's a large map. It has a bunch of wilderness cards in it. And you might not step on your card, but step on other cards you don't want. And then step on the cat, and then it flips the shit, and it's like, eh. So yeah, maybe that's why it's, it's not a high chance of stepping on the cards you want. Even though you don't have a lot of encounter cards, it's because half the map is just random bullshit. The forest, basically. I think some people have said the chariot? Is the chariot the plague one? Yeah. I think someone mentioned the chariot. Anywho. We also have adventure. Oh, we don't, actually. That's the DLC. I keep forgetting. That's something I don't have. But we do have endless. And I don't know how endless works. So... Why not take a look at it? Endless adventures. So it's still adventures, I guess. Oh, fading star. 
That sucks. Wear and tear. Weapon damage and equipment defense degrade from use in combat. Whoa! <coughs> Permanent injury. Our maximum life is greater than 100. Damage in combat may reduce your maximum life. So, you go back to 100 life. Oh, that... that... Uh -huh. That's actually... It's kind of decent balance. Because you won't be like, okay, now I have like 40 fame. I don't need any more. I don't care anymore about fame uh, options. Fame gain options. Well, I have the... My favorite equipment. No probs there. Oh, my life is like 400. I can get hit, but then I just camp, eat 20 food, and then I'm back to full again. So it, these kind of counteract that, so that's kind of nice. So let's see. The road ahead may be long and treacherous, but then you endure the turns of cruel fate. With strong steel and fierce pride. <laughs> Damn, why is it that I always yawn when I start streaming? Uh, perhaps your death may count amongst the legends. Oh, I always knew from the start that I'll die in a ditch. So that's the only thing we have is a companion. Well, we're gonna take the, uh, the strong one, so... What is this infinite symbol? How do I check again? I... I... HIGH SCORE! You have achieved a high score of zero endless points with the Ariadne as your companion from zero at hands. Oh, okay. So it... Your high score is per... Companion. Interesting. So I'm guessing they mean a lot. Because they don't degrade, you don't need fame to use them. They give you special stuff. Yes. Melee tank! That's what we want, bruh. We don't need to babysit them. Even though her... What is... Oh yeah, her thing is the card. That's actually not bad, I think. This guy is the wrist in the wheel. It's kind of whatever. This guy... Oh yeah, this guy is the other one that's pretty good. It gives you an extra die. Yeah. These two are pretty good. Because his wrist spin is like, meh, I don't care. And her retry precision, I mean, just get good. <laughs> uh, yeah, these two are pretty good. Because in these two, you can get good and get what you want. In these two, it's R and Jesus. Although in the card flippage, you can follow the cards, and in some occasions, you can actually uh, keep track of the good one or the bad one, whichever one you want. I guess the dice guy is the best, but fuck him up. Let's 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 look at the endless adventures. I'm interested because I really don't care for farming cards right now. The game we play is no longer bound by time. Holy shit! No, it stretches forth into eternity. Like damnation. Or at least until your death. Shit. Did his eyes change? Now it begins. You'll find the rules have changed. You'll need to be prepared to face whatever fate Ooh. presents you. Okay. So, I hope cards can still be kind of advanced. I see the token tray. So hopefully I can still gain tokens. If I find cards I don't have tokens. I, I don't have the tokens from. So, you know, I might be able to still get some tokens. Also, I'm guessing only Ariadne's quests are going to be available. Also, I found out, because I searched it up, how to get the Desert Trek card. And guess what? It's the Market Thief card that leads to the Desert Trek eventually. It's actually a long goddamn card line, I guess. It's a side quest with like treasure hunting and caravan raiding and it's like, what the hell? 
And it's real goddamn difficult to get that token Do from you the desert wait for, for the fear uh, of making the wrong move. The uh, the market thief, because you you have to get the large success, and after you get the large success, you need to roll like uh, fourteen or higher. It's like because there's a dice check. And it's like what the fuck. So yeah, I can't wait for that because I need that for the devil to get the uh, gold token. So great. Great shit. Adventure becomes you set foot upon the open road and begin your journey into the unknown. I'm still kind of snotty, so sorry if I do noises that are disgusting. It's a thing. Oh no! Ravages of time. Rot. Ha <laughs> ha. Reign of terror. Oh, Grim Dawn is coming to Xbox. On December 3rd, I think. So there might be a celebratory Grim Dawn stream, maybe? I don't really do Xbox, but... Hey! Grim Dawn spreads, and I, I am all for it. It's an amazing game. Fading star, and tear, permanent injury, yeah, we know this. So it's a curse. Can I get rid of this? Or maybe it's perma curse because it's brimstone. Let's check. It's not a curse. Because it's not a number. It's not a number. Alright, so we have the things. I'm gonna go with sword and shield. I don't know what I'm aiming for. Take careful stock oh. of your resources. Kim. You must consider every decision ahead of you. Big tomorrow day. Trade. Merchant Scaven stops to follow. I'll allow you to peruse the rares. Ah. Oh, at least it only costs 12, not like 33 or something, because it's not that useful. If you have food, you can just. <laughs> but you know, if you don't have food, it's pretty good. Speaking of which, food. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> Better than the price of food, so you know. Yeah. Oh look, it starts with small things. Basically, random shit and then something. But it's not the plat old maiden, this is the endless old maiden. So I have a feeling, since I don't actually have a deck, all the cards are just going to be this kind of card. So I don't know if I can get tokens, but I guess we'll see. I'm speculating too much without playing at all. Shady Forest, the old maiden with the hot deer. Give me supply. Mm, we could go back and. Oh, we could camp and buy the uh, healing thing. Sure. Oh! Not the food, dummy. What? Hello? <clears throat> Random musician. Oh, it's a nice axe. Oh, hey, that's the useless one, right? Reveals shopping counters. Yeah, I don't care about that. I have a feeling this will be linear as crap. What to the capital? Oh, I see. Okay. That shield, it really wants to get me the shield. Hell yeah. There's Why nothing you... possible without healing. You and I must heal more than ourselves. We must heal this world. Good luck with that, Chief. If we are to heal this world, we must eradicate humanity. I mean, hello. Welcome to the stream. No negative thoughts here. Uh, yeah, so buying equipment might be a waste because both fame and equipment will deteriorate from use. Fame just over time. 
So I might as well get things that don't deteriorate and then can just use them up whenever. Maybe armor will only deteriorate in combat if I get hit. But weapons will definitely just go bad. But I don't think the rusty ones, the starter ones, can go bad. So if I can make do with the garbage, I can go forever. Until this becomes like the endless mode of Hand of Fate 1, where you just get curses every new map or something, and it's just eventually it becomes unsustainable and you die. Uh, unless you get lucky with curse ones, but yeah. Let's get to the Capi 2. Whoa! I get 10 endless points. I can play Endless Legend or something, hell yeah. You arrive at the capital on a fine sunny morning, milling among the crowd of citizens, beggars, traitors and cutthroats as the city stirs to life. Ten money! I don't know what this is and it scares me. You wander the streets and taverns in search of news for rumors of adventure and glory. This First... card will determine the enemy you face at the conclusion of this section. Defeat ah. them and you will begin another, and so ah. on into infinity or until I stop playing because guess what day it is today it's the 16th of November and in a couple hours in fact in half an hour the prime resurgence event starts in Warframe guess what I'm gonna be doing all day every day until January 25th or the 25th of January when the event ends. That's right, I'm gonna be farming relics, bruh. So, <laughs> this will be a short stream. Let's go. Then of corruption is probably what I'm gonna do because I fucking hate the bandits. You know what happens when bandits are bound? Poison casket, boys. That fucking shit triggered me last time so fucking much. That's the only thing I forgot to look up. How to deal with those fuckers effectively. You know, hate them so much. Thieves, plus 60% life, death. So if I win, I get a bunch of life that will go down in combat whenever I get hit. And if I fail, I die, all right? 84 points and two whatever. This one gives a lot of corrupted. Corrupted is an easy enemy type. Gives 10 fame that goes away by time over time and they die if I don't. Less points, less whatever this is. But you know what? First adventure, let's make it easy. Cause I can. Oh wait, I can look at this. For success, gain time fame or death. Oh, one level. Ah, it's one level deep. This is two levels deep, so it's multiple maps. I see, I see, I see. Let's go with this. I don't really care about score. I just want to see if I can get tokens. And also what this is all about. Also, that thing is pretty. With each passing day, word arrives in the capital of yet another village in the outer provinces falling to the plague. The victims linger before death, attacking all those not yet affected and spreading their affliction further. <coughs> I watched Hashtag Alive not long ago. Man, all these virus turns people mad and just got three on a plague and shit. Honestly, I'm so glad that I've been playing games like that in the last couple years. It's so real, dude. Corona. <laughs> Jesus. Dark times, I'm telling you. No negative thoughts here. The Empire seeks warriors to help contain them and you sign up, because why not adventure? You are directed to the town of Cottonmore. Wait, that's fun. That sounds familiar. Rumored to have been overrun recently. Would you like to make your life more difficult? No doubt, your history suggests this would not be the first time. <laughs> Did I say too real? I mean, story of my life. Make my life more difficult, hell yeah. Trials. Choose your trial cards carefully. Trials will resolve at the end of this adventure in the order they are added to your hand. Ah. Choose any optional trial cards. Any. So I can choose all of them. Uh, deliver two weapons. You get a lot of life if you do. You lose a lot of fame if you don't. Map reveal. 
gold or a curse if you fail. Drunken hero. Dark sanctum. That sounds kinky. Have two curses by the end. Choose a reward or lose 10% of your life if you can't have two curses. Hey, can I like fail this and get one curse and then... Because if I add this first, this resolves first. So that's a curse if I fail it. Can I check these? Like what these are? Reveal all encounters before the end of the adventure to succeed. Markliffe will join you in combat for this adventure. Extra companion to babysit? 30 gold. Or a curse. Okay. Discard, discard two weapons at the end of the current adventure to succeed. Restore 65% of your life. If, I, if I'm not bad, I won't need the restore anyways. Then again, encounters that don't have combat can still re reduce your life, so... Like meeting the uh, Shadow Fiend. Also, it would be nice to know if we can encounter a lot of shadows. Maybe if we choose an adventure. Have two or more curses at the end of the current adventure to succeed. <sighs> For success, choose plus five fame, draw two gold cards, or draw a blessing. A lot of curses are kinda shit. As in, not very debilitating in this game. You know what? I'm gonna add this. And add this after it. So if I fail this, I'll get a, car a curse anyways. So I will theoretically only need one curse and then not inca not reveal everything everything on the map. And then this is an easy win. You know? Wait, I already have a curse, no? Oh no, because the brimstone stuff is not a curse, it's a... It's a condition. It's a condition I have. Condition of... Corruption continues to taint our steps and delay around. our progress. Dicking around for too long, just running my move. When Monoclips failed to show for breakfast, ah, he began fearing for his life. Eventually, you find him face down in a rain barrel, a young girl repeatedly dunking his head in the water. Wow, I'm glad this is where the story went, because I, I was. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Ah, his eyes, though. What is this, Raiden? Hey the bard said he would save us from Lady Lily's mercenaries, but then he drank himself into a stupor before he could tell us his brilliant plan. The, girls, the girl lifts Malkrip's head from the barrel and slaps him. When, you, when our ma ma'am is in her cups, Aunt Jillop makes her walk the turnip field till she can see straight again. What? If, you'll march, if you march him around a bit, maybe he'll come good. Lady, what the hell are you talking about? He drank Malakips out of the city gates. Stelly ho, old bean, he, bum he mumbles. Some fresh air will definitely do him some good. So that's the reason why we need to, you know, go around. And Dark Sanctum, Kink Dungeon. You are invited to an audience with Lady Melora, well-known kink lady. In a discreet room above a tavern, she tasks you with journeying to the lair of an evil wizard rescue her cuck. The wild beast stole him away in the night. I've sent my own guards to, pl uh, to the place. They say it is cursed with such dark magic they cannot enter. Perhaps you will find a way? Two curse guards required to enter. I need to be one of the wicked to enter the wicked lair. One of her guards provides you with a map. Return my husband to me and the gold is yours, Mellow Rovers. Kill anything else you find there. Oh yeah, that sounds like fun. Look over your supplies and maps in preparation. Consider your chosen adventure traits when building your deck. Oh, now I get to build my deck. Select the cards you need to defeat the enemy ahead. Oh, this the is fun. The deeper you go, the more chances you will have to revisit your choices. Ah, I'll go balls deep. Fallen treasure is fun. Field of fake and curses. I don't remember how I get cursed. Maybe it's just a wheel. So that could be a potential good, I guess. Scouting party for revealing the map, but we can just walk around and starve to death. Town of Corruption 
can curse us. Oh wait, how does it curse us again? I forgot. So we get an item, then we fight. Maybe the gam the, the precision gamble. Because losing all of the uh, peasants during the fight does not get us cursed. I love the F U in the background. That's. I don't know if this was intentional, <laughs> but I love it. Tano corruption. Fuck you. <laughs> love it. So yeah, choose two cards. Okay, sunken catacombs. I think I've tried this before. Yeah, because I know what it has. Token gambits. Fight skeletons. Fight ogre. Life and life, and it has a token. But I think this takes a while, and it eats supplies constantly. Or was it the other one? I'm not sure. Anyways, we're gonna take the curse. Make rooms. your choices, and oh. consider what must lie ahead. So we have food and money. Food or money. Ah, we can take the things. We'll definitely take this. Ordered by Iron. What the hell is this? Equipment, gain fame, precision, lose life. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the Popper's Dilemma for the food. I'm gonna fight Empire and get the food. This also can get us food. I'm not sure which one gives more food. I think this gives two. But it can be like three and three. I think this is more food. And... It would be nice if it had a little description or something, like here or here or something. Because I don't remember, do I... If I fuck up, do I just not get anything? Because that's kind of useless. Let's get this, because I know how this works. It's easy. Two cards. Pyrus robes. I need two more charged bashes, so probably taking this. Knight's sword is the shadow people. Arc finisher. Buoner's Talents. Oh wait, I don't have fame for these. I'm gonna take the Pyre Strobes anyways, because I want that uh, token for it, so that's pretty good. Knight Sword doesn't need fame. Two cards. And have a fine sword. Oh shit. Ah damn it. Had I known that I can get more equipment, I would have taken the other armor. Until I can get the pious ropes equipped. Merchant ring is garbage. Tactician's buckler gives no defense. Actually it gives defense. It's pretty good. I should stock up on extra weapons and stuff. What is this? Destroy armor of armored corrupted. Try to farm that shard. Yeah. Here we go. The choices have been made. Whoa. And now the adventure begins. Neglected sword. Oh yeah, I can't have, I can't equip the things. Wait, didn't I take the Oh it's not with me? It's in the it's in the equipment that uh pool. For rewards and stuff. Uh, I see, I see. Okay. I mean it would have been pretty easy to just start with all of that. To be honest, but Monk and Hope, spiked mace. Does this just refresh? No, it's not it's spiked mace, whatever. Garbage. I'm gonna break my camp. Let's. Oh, look, it's one drunken knight! And I got the token from it, because you just don't want to take damage. Oh, this is fun. This, this has a bunch of food and some money, so. Like 15 gold and maybe like 6 food or something. And I get to bash skeletons and watch them kill themselves and stuff. Or is this not with the ske- Oh, this is not the one. This is just a bunch of traps. Alright. Uh, 
hate this so much. Money! Dude. Money, money. Money, money, but then I... Oh my god, there's more money there. So money, 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 money. Food, and the, the exit. More money, money. Let's go for food. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't see shit. Hey! I hate these spinny ones, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I can use my potion here, too. That's cool. How do I use this? E. Nope. Oh, Q. Oh, yes, sir. Might as well. Oh, that was a very bad uh, demonstration of going through garbage. I showed you how not to do it, so. Also bad camera angles. I'll just blame that. Ah, uh, yeah. Water with some coffee in it. Nice. Well, now we have money. Use an artifact. I can heal, but I can heal by moving, so whatever. 25 damage is not bad. Oh, what's my garbage sword 13? Uh, but it's faster. Here is a chance to improve your standing, yet it will require you to take on additional hardship. Your choice to make. My standing? Think carefully. This blue stuff kind of makes me think, <laughs> oh, that it's just gonna give me more points if I take on garbage, but I mean, I really don't care about the score. Unless it unlocks cards at the end. You take refuge in a cave to avoid a sudden downpour. You begin to explore your surroundings to pass the time, keep your sorrows. What appears to be a small alcove turns out to be a tunnel burrowing deep into the mountain after hours of winding paths. And random junctions, you find yourself in a wide cavern lit by thin streams of sunlight penetrating from somewhere above. The creature stands motionless in the gloom, peering at you with interest. Are you mortal? It asks in a voice that seems more in your mind than not. It moves closer but makes no threatening gesture. What are you buying, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the essence of death hangs in your every breath. Yet your soul still lingers in its shell. Ugh. It points a crooked finger at your chest. Would you like me to set it free? Bruh. Would be my pleasure. Chains hang from it, the creature's limbs. Each movement creates the tiny jingling noise. It's Christmas. Suspended from each one of its... Each one is a dark glass container. It's a therapist. <laughs> it keeps... Sorrows and depression in these glass things. It wants to give me a therapy session. Ah, you notice the tools of my trade. I gather the sorrows of your kind. That's what I said. I, I tend to them until the gods see it fit to release them once more. 
Would you like to see one? Earn endless points by gaining curse cards. Ba 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 ba. ba da da. Curse cards. And since this is only one map, I only have two, three more cards to gain two curses. So. C -c 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 curse cards. Brute determination. Strong foe. One random enemy in every combat has double life. That's not even a curse. It just literally makes it longer. I think I like that. They all give 90 points. Clumsy. Oh my god. Three of these curses are never seen before. Never before seen curses. Pendulum. All failure are considered huge failure in precision gambits. Okay. These are worth the same amount of points. Not a curse at all. It's basically one enemy is considered two. Or... You're fucked. <laughs> the curse. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Demon heart. Chaos. All combatants move faster and inflict more damage during... What the hell? There's gremlins. Lose a when you gain a curse. I hate that one. And redeemer's tax. Cursed equipment. Lose a random equipment card whenever you lose a curse. Thank you. That's not a curse at all. Oh, I can take more! Oh my, even more. Do I want to end this run fast? <laughs> Failure is huge failure in precision gambits. I mean, if you're good, this is not a curse, but I'm not good. Uh. Basically, if I gain this, I might lose my healing potion. Lose equipment when you lose a curse. I'm good, thank you. The creature says. It says, hmm. Okay. Your soul yet shines brightly. My charges will be safe there. Nope. Now is your chance. Resolve these as soon as you can. Linger. Oh no. Greed. Look at that. 3v3. I'm gonna kill one guy, and I'm gonna let the other two handle the other two. Easy. Oh, but one guy is beefy. One guy is a lot of health. Oh, look, my healing potion is green. What is that How apple did juice? you not get the message? We're not to be messed with. Help! Oh, ah! Need some for me? I'm being murdered. Ah! By sea and sun, fate and fame. <laughs> Get seen. They died from what is that you get from rust tetanus? They died from blood poisoning, basically. A rusty sword. With the battle resolve, you scavenge what you can from the remains. For him, is what I scavenged. Ooh! Reveal three. Great. Oh, look, I can still get cursed. I don't think I need to step on that. Because it's revealed now, so... Done. Nice. Oh, look, it's revealed! Bye! Although, is it revealed? I don't remember this, so let's let's get cursed. We so rarely stop and dwell on the uneventful moments of your histories. Yet life is constructed of so many of them, stitched in between the flashes of excitement. You're the flash of excitement. <clears throat> Laying in a field on a warm summer's day, you spy a tiny figure. You leap forth to catch her. You rip its wings off for sadistic pleasure. Uh oh. Let's copy this for the curse. <laughs> uh, no. I'm gonna close my eyes and not look at this. Oh, I should have looked. I should have looked! Ah! Oh, thank god. It didn't even change. Water's way into the field. Okay. 
I lost one food, that's about it. And like two minutes of my life. Let's go! Oh wait! Didn't it say it's one level? Only? This is the second. Hello? Dealer! What is this layout? Are you kidding me? Oh shit! I'm ambushed by... Snow chestnuts. Wait, what? Why hunting for snow chestnuts in the bluffs of the north? They're grown from behind you. Okay. Corruption in the snow. Oh, Nazi zombies or something. Watch out! I hope this works! It's a big one! Take a lot of HP! Dead! <laughs> yeah, fuck him up! Oh, Wait, I still have the bubble. I don't have to fear. Where are you? No. Oh my god, I was mashing F, but my character was still kicking. <laughs> oh no. Yay. Easy game. Oh no, Ravage of Time. Guess what? My sword cannot get worse than that. <coughs> so, jokes on you, Brimstone. You loot what you can, chestnuts. Are you... Are you like haunting me or something? Taking the buckler. Mm, yeah, sure. Hey, this thing. Throw a bomb that deals 150 damage to corruption in an area. Corrupted killed, explode, causing short stun. So, armor of armored corrupted. Gotta get the chard, bruh. Gotta get the chard. You can use it three times. Such a garbage thing, these uh, artifacts. A ton of corruption. God damn it. Pyre strokes, let's go. Put it on, buddy. Nice. Oh look, there's an armored corruption. I think it's Q, so I'm just gonna wait for my Q to unlock and then throw the bomb. I hate these bombs in combat, it's pretty jank to use them, so that's another reason I don't like to use these things. And the second reason is that like three uses and come on. Oh my god, it doesn't even destroy the armor! No, 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 don't kill him! Don't get its thing off! Please! No, 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 are you at me now? No! They're such a bitch! Such a bitch! So, it deals 150 damage, or no. Fate and fame! one guy survived. This motherfucker, honestly. I was like, 150 damage, that's gonna one shot its armor, right? Nope. Nope, it won't, and then it didn't recharge in time. Oh, my damage your equipment, which one? Oh no! What the hell? No, this was like... This was like 8 defense or... No, 5 I think, right? Only 5. I didn't even get this because it didn't get hit enough. I defended once and got hit another time. Oh my god, this is just... Ass. 
the pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. Hope it is. Nice. Receive blow from your soldier's sword. Cleave the head from the body, halting its attack. Oh, I didn't even read it. Oh, that was something different, because most because prior to this, all the peasants died every time. But now there was something. Oh well. Someone got cleaved, and another person was crying. That sucks. Who the fuck are you? Kubarak's favor. Set up camp one night beside an old, forgotten battlefield. This haunted place, local legend says, the field is strewn with the bones of a hundred witches. Their supper is interrupted by the arrival of a strange horned creature. Mm. Greetings, mortal! I have eyes on my belt. My time is limited, but I wish to offer you my aids. I mean, my aid. The creature gives you a brief but entirely accurate summary of your adventures so far. I mean, yeah, it was brief so far. I like you, human. It says, peering you, peering at you intently with unblinking eyes. Creepy. I want you to succeed and fulfill your destiny. Let's bargain. You know, there's something fishy when some kind of weird, horned, half-naked creature that doesn't blink says, let's bargain. It's like, ah. Uh, Gain 15 food and lose a random equipment? Mm, I mean, I'm kind of out of food. What do I have? I don't really care. I would love to keep this. Oh my god, it's probably gonna be one of these, isn't it? 40 gold and a curse. Map of area. And lose 10% maximum life. It's 15 gold for three food, right? And I can't buy a lot of food. Hope I have your quest in some small way, Kubara commands. Now nah, for your side of the bargain. <laughs> Thank you. That's free 15 food, basically. Satisfied with his payment, Kubara says, Farewell, hero, brave zone day, our path will cross again. You blink and the creature is gone. I am going mad. Alright. Basically, I went to the nearest apple tree, took 15 apples from it, threw away my bloodletting vial, hallucinated, and went back to sleep. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> I don't have money. Alright. Oh, look, it's bitter winter. God damn it. I hate this so much. I just got this food. I just got this food! I hate that shard and anything it stands for. And it's in there now. Fuck my food, I guess. Mechanical oddity! Can you That's claim cool. this token? I must. Ariadne leads you through the streets of a city to a dilapidated house tucked into a darkened alleyway. This is where we'll find the first thing we'll need to fix Anders Forge, a mechanical oddity. And the inside of the house is distinctly tidier. And you are surprised by the presence of a small general store within. Oh my god, I don't have money. A young woman minds the counter. That's Mary and the mage. Oh, we did this before. We beat the fucker up, right? Oh yeah. We, we, we be I think we beat her up or something. Because <laughs> I tried to steal because I didn't have money. Mary and <laughs> here is, of course. Can I help you? Could you please refrain from calling me a mage out loud? Don't worry, Marion. There the booms. Only old titties shopping here. They're here for that. Points at a large copper bauble studded with silver knobs resting upon the counter. This is a genuine article of the bygone dustman. Dustman. It's Prince. <laughs> Endless Dustman. I think I'm playing another game. It's priceless. I can't part with it. It's. It's the melange or whatever. The dune. The mage hugs it to herself. Persuade her and knock her out and take it. Ask Karyani what to do. <laughs> Let's do the same thing. Ask Marion why she isn't in hiding. Persuade her. Ah, shit. Empire don't bother us here in the slums, and I have a few magical potions that people appreciate, so they don't really care with them, the mage. 
I've lived in the city since I was a child. It's my home. I earned the mage rounds. I deserve to live here as much as anyone else. You're a mage, though. I think if I ask her what to do, she just does this and it fails. I don't know. Let's try this. I never tried this at night. Oh, yeah, I think I did try this. It just didn't work. Oh, I, I kind of need that. I no. Marion is unmoved by your offer. All right, fine. I'll give you two seat rolls for it, but that's a final offer. What? <laughs> but I need it. Ah! Slaps the mage hard across. <laughs> oh, I did try this. <laughs> no. So I guess with normal failure you can just retry at least once, but if you're like me, you'll, you'll fail hard. Hey, at least we can get more food. <coughs> Although, I'm kind of on equal turns with both. Maybe the money would be better. But I don't remember how much money I get. And I feel like killing some... Uh, Some empire. I always feel like killing some empire. It remind me of Romans. It remind me of white supremacy. You know, it's it's nice to kill white people. I'm <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> no sinister thoughts here. Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm going to let them beat my ass so I can get my pious rope token. I hope this works! I hope this works! Hit me! Fuck you! Hit me! Hit me, motherfucker! Come on, beat me! Beat me! Beat me! Come on! Ah. See, that's why I don't like mullet pipes. It's goddamn pussy. One. I need two more, thank you. Oh, what the hell? Buddy. Kill your friends. I'm just too good at this. Come on. I think I'm done with the pile shows, but let's do one more for good measure. I love that buckler, it didn't even budge. I think that guy died. Come on. One more. What a dummy! Those pious robes look cool with that hood. That's a nice combo. It's like they were meant for each other. It's like it's like the dealers get up to. Awesome. Hell yeah, let's upgrade this. Well done. I already feel rewarded. Thank you. Even if I die next turn, it was worth it. Rest of the soldiers run away, we get some fame, and we get some food. Eight food, that's good. It's basically the harvest. I hear a bitter winter. Oh my god, I lose one fame. No. Oh look! These didn't go down, because I didn't get punched. 
got the token, seven fame for this, and no fame for this. Okay, so we are still okay with fame. Ah, that's our end. It's like the end of your quest. I got this, I got that. Hell yeah. Town of Cottonmore is too quiet as you approach. No smoke rises from the chimneys. No sounds of tools or animals or children playing breaks the silence. Only the moans of the corrupted can be heard as you enter the village. Ooh, it's the first time I see... Oh my god, it moves. Ew, I love it. Come on, pulse. Pulse. Ew. That's cool. It's like a snake swallowing something. I love it. There's nothing left to do here but kill everything that moves. <laughs> I wish I had that bloodletting vial now. Oh well. Because Ariadne is not here to ruin the armor breaking. It's basically just two terror guys. Like, I'm sure one of them is a snake. <laughs> terror Billy! Terror of Cottonmore. Whatever life this poor creature had before the infection is now forgotten. It's all crusty. See, guys, if you're a coomer, you might end up like this, all crusty. Use Bash to break the terror's armor and defeat it, be the finisher. If nothing else, I'll get okay. a song out of this. Why would... why? 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 It's a dead. So even garbage weaponry is great against corrupted. They are weak. They are the lowest of the enemies, I think. They are the easiest to deal with. Recover what you can from the remains of the townsfolk and return to the village, because they're slow. Bart sing of your deeds. <laughs> Alright, the town mayor grimly thanks for you laying the poor souls to rest and looting the town and burning it. Saying there is nothing else you can do here. Trial completed. Gain 60 endless points. Corrupted are now stronger in combat. Oh. Okay. With your main quest complete, you turn to attention to other tasks. Malaclips is finally roused into a decent state whilst tra traipsing through a lavender field. Aww. Mercenaries, he groans, sweating a bundle of purple flowers from his face. A big horse. It's not all that big, not the horse. After listening intently to his croaking mutterings, you both head back to save the town of Rothmire with his brilliant plan. The plan is pulled off to perfection just as Malcliffs had described. The large horse was a particular stroke of genius. I bet it was a particular stroke, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> First thing I chased out of town, screaming because what they saw, they cannot unsee. There's a snake, by the way, eating itself. I bet that's someone's kink right there, eating yourself. Yikes. 30 gold and 140 blue points. The people of town... The people of... What? People of town of Rothmire. What? That kind of... Wrong. You want you with applause and few small items of value. Money. Following the map given to you by Lady Melora, you reach the apparent location of the King Dungeon. You find yourself at the ruins of an old temple dedicated to a long-forgotten deity. Deity. As you enter the broken building, you notice strange rooms etched into every stone, dick butts everywhere. You hear voices ahead and ready your weapon. To your surprise, you find a man dressed in rich clothing in an amorous embrace with a barely clothed succubus. King Dungeon. Try completed. The old creature hisses loudly at your appearance and spreads her wings to take flight. Man leaps forward, his hands outstretched. Wait, don't hurt her. 
The man exclaims, what is this, Witcher 3? That was a naked lady we could, you know, defend. And we did because of her tits. I mean, <clears throat> not because of that, but I'm not saying that was not one of the reasons. <clears throat> it's not what you think. Did my wife send you? You cheat. You die. <laughs> the man exclaims that he's not bewitched nor kidnapped by the creature and that he's in love with her. I mean, who am I to... I mean, then why didn't you tell your wife, uh huh? Get the divorce and don't be a dickhead. And with... And she with me, he says, looking at her fondly. Surely she would have eaten my heart by now. If that was not the case, do you know what succubuses are? I certainly would have, the creature exclaims. Please, leave us for long, the man begs. Force the man to return. I mean, I only got this. Oh, I get... Wait. I can just see what I get. Force the man to return. I get the gold reward. I think it's like another 30, maybe? Bring the man and the creature back to the city. Subdue the succubus and rescue the man. Whoa. Or let them kink around. Fuck them. I don't care. The man is a spineless bitch, but I like succubi, so that's it. The pair are eternally grateful and bless you. Blessing from a demon kind, a demon king. I don't know how worthy that is. Long shot. <laughs> I bet it's a long shot. <laughs> After the succubus is done with you, huh? the precise dice. Score the exact target value in a dice gambit to draw five. Oh, it's a transient blessing. As soon as I get the thing exactly, it's gone. I mean, five equipment cards that, you know, stock up on stuff. That's not bad. Before leaving, you warn them that Lady Melora knows of their whereabouts, and that it is only a matter of time before she finds another man. Another who can enter the tower. 360 no scope. Your Let's... first adventure is complete. From here, things will become more difficult. No, they won't. It's more tedious. I'm out of liquid. Get down to the capital in search of more adventure. What adventure will fate hold for you? The wild hunt. <laughs> God damn it, the Witcher will always haunt me. Oh, fucking Witcher 3. I hate it. Caravan guard, it's an ogre kill, I guess. Ogre fight, 12 food or death. Food or death, I mean, hell yeah. Just like life. Briar fog. Hello, new enemy type. Oh no, wait, Briar fog is a plus, so it's not a combat. That's interesting. Only 60 points, what is this? I am intrigued. What is this? This adventure ends with a combat against powerful Briarfolk. Why is it a plus then? Another combat like the Ogre. Expect to encounter their kind on your journey. I've never seen these. I don't know what they are, so we are taking this without even looking at the other. This is interesting. And that looks kind of wrong there. Texture. An eerie silence hangs over the forest. You hear no breeze, no beast, no birdsong. The trees part and the woman, tall and angular, with cruel eyes, steps into your campsite. A cloak of petals hangs from her shoulders, an elegant crown of roses rests on her brow. Brow. Bruh. Bruh. Bow, mortal! She commands, for you are in the presence of the Midsummer Queen. She circles you appraisingly, the train, train of her butterfly wing gown trailing behind what kind of empty axes does she have <laughs> trailing behind with each elegant step you've prospered in my realm have you not many nights these woods have harbored you safely the days providing you with fruit and fowl and fish enough to fill your haversack ten times over the woman i mean the woman stops suddenly her back to you that wasn't free again then an amusement for my court. He turns and clasps her hands together. Even now, my champion comes for you, slowly, because he's a tree. So, you know. <laughs> kind of slow. 
afraid of fire, and this is a campsite where you're burning his kin. Though his journey across the whale slows him. Run! Gather strength. Find allies. Equip yourself in your little trinkets. Wow. Wherever you go, he'll find you. Rhubarb the Red. It's a communist tree. Is my finest hunter. You will fight. And if you win, though I sincerely doubt you will win, consider the debt paid. The woods will continue to grant you succor. Succor. Sugar. Lose, and I shall have your screams preserved and carved into a funeral brooch. 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 This is metal. I like it. You gather your belongings and sprint from your camp, running for your life. The sound of her laughter ringing your ears. And she's like, April's fool, bruh. This is a good time to add trials. Before time has passed and things have become more difficult. You're more difficult. Supply wagon. Mm. Discard certain food at the end of the current adventure. Ew. With ten fame? No, thank you. That sounds bad. It just makes it a lot more difficult. Fuck fame. Map reveal. Reveal all encounters before the end of the adventure. Gain 18 food or lose one blessing. Well, that one blessing I have is not that big of a deal, so I might take this because that's a nice amount of food. What is this thing? Then we're three. Ha! 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 The tree folk Funny. have followed you even here. Tree folk. I want to see these tree folk. A noble patron. Subscribe to my Patreon. Our oh, patron of the arts has commissioned an artist to create a map of the empire. You agree to help him scout the valleys, forests, and fields as you complete your adventure. Cool. As you descend, your decisions here will become your lifeblood. Payment due! Fight goblins. Oh, and I can get the helmet of the dude. I think goblins are easy, though. Fight Empire Precision Equipment, gain gold, gain life, food, spangled for shopping, explore the wilds, map reveal. I think interception when I need to swap stuff, yeah, and if I fuck up I fight the Empire. This is the sucky sucky that can later give stuff back. Am I going to get the harvest? Am I, am I forever fucked by that? In endless mode? Probably. Ah, let's add some spice. Gnome hunt! Oh yeah, look, this is new. Do I have equipment? Hellish armory, tart spice, and exotic lies. I've only seen this once, right? Present sun when we can actually fight a shadow, but I don't have the sword. This is the only way to fight shadows, I think. So far, at least, but I mean, tree folk, so anything can happen. Let's see this. I can throw anything at it. I might just throw my shield at it. I have the rusty shield, and it's basically the same. Although, extra life goes away. And it's like. 25, 30 life? Which is not bad, but if I take like 7 to 10 damage per hit from like corruption, it's not gonna last long. Pain check. Oh, Frontier Baboot! Bash 50 enemies as they block. I like that. Ring of food. Discard no food gain to get food, it's kinda low. If it was like plus five then it would be awesome, but plus two. I can throw this at the flower. Oh wait, I didn't pick the flower. Oh dazzling blade Well I think I know what I'm taking. Armor of gluttony is good too, because food. Gain plus two food or plus one in endless after every encounter in which you re receive the game card. Excludes the camp. Yeah, that's 
Food defense. 30% defense if you have 20 plus food. Extra 30% for each additional 3 up to plus 30. Oh my god. Food hoarding armor. That's pretty good. I think this is better though. We got preparation. Throw food gain after every combat in which you take less than 15 damage. Bop. Oh no, this is the reveal. This is not. No, oh, Valiant Tigers is the food. Oh my god, this is like all food cards. Eat less. I should. <laughs> oh, that was some kind of dragon snake thing. Congratulations. Herandus. You have not fallen at the first hurdle. Thing. Now your exactly. decisions become more pressing. My brain tumor is becoming more pressing. So I can't see out of my right eye. What? <clears throat> Camp. I'm dying. Soul gem. Yeah. Since I realized that it's absolute garbage, I don't need it. How's the food prices? Same. Brittle bones disease? That's not a fun thing. Believe me. Facts of all pain are applied twice. Ugh. I still don't know what the... Only ten? Wow, what the hell, bruh. I still don't know what the blue money number is. It's probably just bragging rights, honestly, so I don't really care. But there's a new... Curse in town. Slow ability or companion ability cooldown charges 50% slower. Souls yet shines brightly. Whoa! Iron Peak! I have. N oh, marketplace, not yet explored. I still don't know how to get the tokens, so let's go this way. Iron Peak Marketplace is large enough to house many stars. You wander through, you note many are vacant. I have money. Few people seem to choose the risk of shopping in such a public place these days, and those that do never linger for long. In a quiet corner of the market, you find a desperate man attempting to sell an unusual assortment of oddities. Viagra. He makes up a statue of a three-headed creature, saying, This statue of a healing spirit from the distant kingdom of Duntia. It's exactly what you need to survive the next attack by the Prince of Poisons! Corona. Buy the stats you not yet explored. Solding a small metal figure makes you beat easier and fills your limbs with vigor. Don't ask how much you owe. Supernatural chill travels up here and frees your heart. Curse! Yeah, oh, no! Healing spirits. Whoa. Sorry, stranger. I stole these from particularly vengeful warlock. Good luck. Then kicks the table over and flees. I forgot that this was the cursed guy. I got the token! And I didn't read the last thing. What? But I purchased the map from him before and got cursed. That didn't give me the token. Once again, leave and now familiar town. Oh. Maybe that's why it told me what I haven't explored. The token was for exploring the entire Iron Ta Iron Peak, because now it's familiar. That's an interesting way of getting the token. By the way, it is a meaty card, so... Ah! My life! So I had a goddamn better sword and I never equipped it, is what I... So just then. Oh yes, Spire Strobes is maxed out, bruh. I love it. The underground reaches <clears throat> out once more in search of fresh meat. Yeah. A little warning, a stampede of gnomes bursts from the tree line, trampling your camp and ruining perfectly adequate stew. The tiny creatures clamber into the bushes behind you and peer out from the foliage with great anticipation. You turn to see what has frightened them. 
A large and an average goblin steps into the clearing. A crude sword in one hand and an empty sack in the other. Did some gnomes just come through here? Goblin's chins jiggle with anger at your hesitation. We will not eat them. Only throw them. Stand your ground. You reach for your weapon. No good can come from letting this goblin have his way with the gnomes. That's illegal. Mischief! Three! Ha. Wish to be thrown too! The large goblin glares up at you uh, as his friends emerge from the forest to assist. Light weapons are recommended against goblins. You can change equipment in the inventory. Hold on guys, I gotta check my inventory. No I don't. Let's go Ariadne and bash some skulls. Those are little children sized... ...things. Mischiefs. I don't like a pain. <gasps> That's rude. I like your sword. It looks like a fossilized poop. They pour from their undercities, a tide of mischief and terror. Tricky and unpredictable fighters. Goblins are vulnerable to repost. Attack them before they finish drinking or deal with the consequences. Okay. They drink! Don't let them drink! Guys drinking. Ow! Oh, fuck my ass. I was meshing F, thank you very much. Apparently that didn't matter. So if they finish drinking, they do a big charge attack, they just have to dodge, I guess. But I didn't clearly, so I'm gonna have to lose some equipment points. With the goblins defeated, the gnomes emerge from the bushes. Again, you come to our aid, human. What is wrong with you? Ow. Oh, my equipment. Oh. So yeah, if I take damage, it screws my armor. Oh. One of the creatures darts into the darkness and returns, dragging a pair of rune-etched daggers behind him. He forged these great swords. <laughs> uh, I, I guess it's great swords to them. To wield against our terrible foes, but perhaps they would serve you better. Gnome coughs and looks at his feet. Also, none of us are strong enough to lift them. <laughs> it is the nature of things. One faction rises in strength, and so the weapons that defeat them are forged anew. Goblin griefers. That's not nice. Critical stabs. Perform four quick stabs when activated. Each hit causes 150% damage. Seven damage, though. That... Reflect arrows. Use the fan to reflect arrows from ranged goblins. Only ranged goblins? That's kind of lame. Light. Make against enemies at high defense. Reflect 50 arrows from goblins. Jesus Christ. Thanks. It's gonna be good for the plant, I guess. Oh wait, I didn't take the plant, I forget. In gratitude, the gnomes quickly restore your campsite for dispersing through the forest. What about the stew? Token! Oh my god, we are just gaining. Oh, it's campsite, I guess. Soul jemmy. Can I just sell the... Wait, I still have the soldier's sword. I lost my healing potion, not the so Is it bugged out? Dude, it's bugged out. I can't see the soldier's sword, but I have it. Well, you know what that means. Well, 
Wee. Dangerous wilds. Oh no! Mur murdered people. <laughs> I don't want to lose equipment durability on those. Tactical. Better take some extra damage, I guess. Try out these new fancy daggers. They look cool too. They genuinely look like great swords, but they are tiny. Look at that. Mm. They have some cool gems, dude. Yeah. yeah. Simple enchantment is woven into these plates. Though only a fool would be flummoxed flummox by it. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna Google that. Flummoxed. What the hell does that mean? That is flummoxed. Jesus. Words. Flummoxed. Flummoxed. Astonished, stop perplexed. Perplexed. Mm. I see. Confuddled. Right. Let's go kill people, eh? Who wants to get hit first? Oh, yeah, boy. Come on. Oh, this guy was napping. Ah! Every time I just choke at the end, like, ah, I got hit. Ah, whatever. Eight damage to me. Stings. Oh, no. Combat. My, my, my daggers got damaged. They deal even... Wait, can I have them, like, deal one damage after a while? Oh my god. That sounds amazing. Wait, hold on. Let's put, put back the, uh, the good stuff. Huh. So I guess after two more negatives, might as well switch to the wooden shield and sell this one. Interesting. Interesting mechanic. I... I... Don't mind it right now. Battle resolved, you loot the corpses, and you gain. Whoa. Okay. Gain. Oh, I want this. Defeat Rhubarb of the Red. <laughs> the Red. Follow a trail of hearsay to an inn in the town of Alderose. Archibald to the season of Harry. Father, Godfrey mentioned that you were a keen thief, so I need you to do thief. I'd like to get this list in messenger's hands. Oh yeah, I dropped my gold and he was like, hey, here's your gold. But back then I didn't have a lot of gold, so should I risk 45 gold? Hell yeah. Ah, shit, my gold! That will set you in good stead. That from was here. a fluke. <laughs> uh, he's distracting his slate of hands, let's go, satchel. Da -da -da. Ought to be more careful. Pussy! Yay. Yay. Wow. 80 gold. I can buy whatever. It would be nice as a buffer for losing equipment when I gain a curse. Let's go! That's a penis. I mean, it's a spaceship, obviously. Jeff Bezos' spaceship. Come on. Harvest! F 
Finally! Oh my god, rejoice. A shard. Find yourself in the Edindor fields once again. And you don't know how you got here. Farmer's homestead lies ahead. Farmer and his family greet you as you approach the house. Oh my god, big feast, bruh. Big feast, let's go. Big feast! Oh wow, that was actually just... Just a very easy win. Thanks to you, we were able to comfortably make it through the winter, the farmer says with a smile. The harvest has been good this year, so please, take this as a small token of our appreciation. A small token, man. Nice. Oh my god. That was big. Wow, so far this endless is starting out pretty well. A sign of things to come. You thank the family for their generosity in continuing your journey. Oh! And they just left. And lose a fame for that. Jesus, look at that. Oh, quick! Quick, let's use an artifact <laughs> to get her back. Yeah, as if. Oh, Perandus! Three eyed snack. Snack! With little worm arms. <laughs> Parondus. While crossing the desert, the ground begin. It was snowing a second ago. The ground begins to tremble beneath your feet. A monstrous scaled head slithers out from the sand, followed by a long, shimmering body, a serpent of terrible size. If you strain, you swear you can hear a faint melody being plucked out on a lute, while Eclipse is in its belly. The creature stretches la la what? languidly, encircles you. Languidly. Oh, you know what happens now? Google search. What the hell does that word mean? Languidly? Languidly. What the hell does that mean? I've never seen that word in my life. What the hell? Ew. Like, it's like smoothy or slow. Haltingly. What? Wearily. Basically, just woke up. You know, dude's asleep still. Legends of Old Spittendy. Sper serpent drones staring with three unblinking red eyes. Hardship is thy duty, and a poor soldier thou art. I'm a mercenary, I know, thanks. Oh, fuck! Oh, baby! I saw that. Serpent blinks impassively. Oh, so you blink. Then with a hiss, it slides away, disappearing quickly into the sands. Oh, come on. When you wake, the serpent is gone. Gone. I guess this is either a... Get smooshed... Or not, I guess. Well. Fame and glory ease the path to success, if nothing else. Money. A palace armor is holding a special promotion for the nobility. Guards now, guards bow to you as you enter. Welcome, you. Please, we got what in store for you today. Because I'm famous. I'm rich. I can just throw food at people. I'm healthy. I'm just living the life. Storman presents you with a trunk filled with equipment. A fee of 10 gold will allow you to enter a promotion. That's nothing, bruh. Reach into the trunk and take a piece. Mmm, the Valiant Ace. How much is that worth? Is that one worth, Brian? Storman asks, I already paid 10 gold. I ain't paying more. Who's Brian? I'm gonna kill him. Its value is 28 gold, says Brian. Turning to you, the storeman explains, you may continue to draw, but if your next item is of lower value than the previous one, you leave with nothing. Uh, what? What kind of fucking... what is this? Or you can walk away at any time with what you've got. The choice is yours. I want this. Because it's less food eaten. Perhaps we shall be less risk averse next time. Hmm? Wow, it's taunting me. Brian remarks dryly as you leave with your item. Hey, you know what? I like this. Eat less. Only one defense, though, so we're not going to use it yet, because we still have enough food. 
So let's not put it on yet, but it's not bad. It's shit for defense, but hey, whatever. Goblin tracking! Your attempt another shortcut, you still should navigate many twists and turns. Ba ba ba. Lost again. Little goblin approaches lungs. Da da da. Help me clear road. Da ba da ba da. Oh, what the hell? That's been outgrouping ready yourself for combat. Ugh. Big boy. I don't even need to defend against big boy. Three defense, though. I mean, it's still three more than nothing, so I would like to keep that for. More swift murder machines. Yeah. Trials. That's. I mean, I can just let Ariadne deal with it. She's back up, so. The first ogre I encountered was in her. Uh, adventure, so. And she just killed it. Although this guy is kind of corrupted. Wow, that's a new enemy type. Corrupted ogre. Not all victims of the blight are so deserving of pity. Wow, that's racist. <laughs> that's specious. The ogre's thick height reduces damage by three. Get him, girl. Get him. Get him! Get him! Oh my god! This is a small pain. What's over here? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, Jesus. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, he has twice the life, too. That sucks. Stay close to her so her shit recharges faster. And I also have a curse. Ah, fuck him! Ooh! You thought! <laughs> Big man! With no area attack, apparently. Let's kill him! I'm swift, swind. I didn't even attack him. Feel a little bad, but all those crip clipping crystals kinda make me not feel bad. With the passage cleared of the blight, the goblin runs over to you. You did it! Not that I had my doubts. Not that I had 50 gold on that creature knocking your body block off. What? My block? But my head is so tiny. The surveys the passages leading out of the chamber. Roads are clear now. If you'd like, I'll lead you back to the surface. Wait, I just knew. Goblin points at a spot on your map. Those were not there. It was like... Straight down. And then the legs. What are these new things? Travel with the goblin. 
Followed a little tracker for some time, finally emerging from Tree Stone. Farewell, fellow Red Claw. Remember to join us to. Oh, these are just forests. Can I not zoom out? Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, so these would have been the emergence points. Let's see. Look at that. It's a burning mace thing. Like token clipping. Ooh. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six dice. But I can only throw three. Oh. Eight. There was another one down there. I can only throw three. Lame. Mendo. Hey, Mischief Hunters. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Honestly, I don't even need to put this on. Only when I'm running out of food. Easy. So I need to deflect arrows. So it would be nice if Ariadne didn't kill these two. Clip of Mischief or something. A firm pair of hands grip you around the shoulders, yanking the nearby alley. Biggest goblin you ever seen lurks in the shadows. And they have a hat. Heard you helped my father while he was a bit of a scrape, gestures. Gives you a little wave of recognition. Ah, uh, that we gave you wasn't his to give. I don't blame him, he's a dumbass. Feel a sudden lightness in your haver cycle is bound out of the alley, whooping and crackling. What? Pursue your muggers in their courtyard. Brandish their weapons. You grab whatever is closest. Wait, do I not get my daggers? Did they steal my daggers? I will be mad if they did. No. No, I do have them. Okay, I just don't have my pious robes that I didn't equip. You motherfucker! Back. Ah! My butthole. Come on. I fucked up the one with the. Oh Jesus! What the fuck? Oh wait, I need to... What the fuck? What is happening here? Um... What is happening here? I'm kinda lost. I mean, I killed the guy with the monk. Killed the archer. Oh, screen. I got like five deflect. What do I lose? Besides life. Why did William for Steve escape down a portal? No, they didn't. He didn't have a fucking what? What I lose? I lost my. Uh... Lost my thingy shield. Oh, that's trash. I didn't have anything. I'm sad. All it took was one more shot. I'm gonna cry! Even the trees here work against you. Stop in the market to purchase more supplies. A woman screams behind you and you hear the sound of crackling flagstones. How did a tree sneak up on me? Scouting party. Ooh! Vine caster of thorns. I just... I can just tell what it's gonna do. It's gonna bondage my ass. I already hate it. And four of thorns. 
I'm the Briar Fox, stride through the panicked crowd, paying no heed to the mayhem in the way. How come this is not in the main game? It's endless. Like, what? I should have healed. See? They arrange snaring wines, fire weakness. Again, the fire sword. That sword is the most OP thing in this game so far. Regrow. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you what's gonna regrow, huh? <laughs> Draw arms, child. Chilled. Our master would test your metal. I'm using the rusty sword, aren't I? God damn it. Should I put on my big axe? For some wood cutting. Oh well. Oh, look at them. They are like bones. Oh, oh. Forest Guardian. Bring violence to the sacred groves and you risk invoking their wrath. Briarfolk wield a variety of ancient armaments. There's a rat. Though <laughs> brittle, they are capable of resurrection. Take care. Vulnerable to fire. So they are skeletons. I'm gonna kill the ranged boys first. No, please! These are skeletons! Kill them! They cool. Oh shit, that thing lingers. Basically, they are just reskin skeletons. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh well, the last bear folk fast your blows, leaving you alone. <laughs> My blows, huh? Leaving you alone in the market square. The queen's words are carried to you on the wind. Huntsman comes for you, hero. Flee! Flee! She is just toying. She has some kind of satellite uplink. I love this blade. Dazzling blade. <clears throat> 20 damage. Tears through Empire, like, completely. Or more food. First time you complete the combat unharmed, add a blessing to the map. Does not need fame. 10 defense. I don't have a helmet. On food after any combat which you take. The this is amazing. Wow, auto equip. Didn't even ask me if I want to wear that ugly looking helmet that is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. I didn't want to put it on. I'll put it on when I fight Empire. Farm it. I don't know what this tree is going to be like, so let's get some healing in. The forests contain deep mysteries. <laughs> For they remember what it truly is to be ancient. Look at that. So sad. Although if you turn that upside down, he's very happy. The duel on the mountain. The mountain with a capital M. It's the mountain. So basically the dude from, from Game of Thrones. We are dueling on him. Recite the end of your quest. Let's go. Hi. Oh, high on a lonely mountain top. Make your final preparations. Perhaps the bitter cold will have some detrimental effect on your adversary. No, I don't think so. I think they... That looks like a graveyard. There you see him. His great thorny silhouette cutting through the blinding snow. Rhubarb. <laughs> a rhubarb. Royal Huntsman of the Court of the Midsummer Queen. Is this a meme enemy? I mean, it's only gonna give me like, what, 
60 thingies. I got 90 from a curse. Like, come on. <clears throat> Two thorns and this pulsating snake dude. Lord of thorns. Hmm. Clever, mortal, but to no avail. Our merry chastens here with the spilling of your blood. Throw your weapon and give your all. The queen does not love a grand performance. Oh, that's so love. I can't read. Oh, hold on, bruh. So this... This... Complete the combat unharmed. Add a blessing to the map. This is the end of the map. So put this on so we don't waste that. Because I don't know... I, it might get cancelled out, you know. I mean, it's gonna add a blessing to the map, but then the map ends, so I don't want to accidentally risk that. So that's that, and the rest is... I might do the villager's axe to just cut the boy up. I mean, this is a lot faster than the villager's axe. Let's put on the poopy shield. We can keep this on, I guess. Although three defense, it's not gonna make a lot of difference, I think. But we're gonna look cool. Actually, we're not gonna look cool because we have this ugly helmet on. It's actually ugly, so. Let's do this in style. Yeah. He raises his weapon high overhead and charges. Okay. I'll just let Ariel make him. Or it. I guess it's a him? Is it a him? It's a tree, but I mean, kind of exudes doom. What the hell was that? I was kind of doom. Looks like a tree brought us. Rhubarb, the red. Because he's got shoes. Ancient lord of the hunt. Oh yeah, that's dude. Unrelenting in pursuit of his prey. Yeah. Releases thorns that cause damage and slows their enemies. Be vigilant. We're breaking their armor. Get him! He's dead. Suck! Ow! Rhubarb, please! <laughs> so yeah, he had that that outer layer on, and then it broke off and just released garbage. Loud music. By the time the queen catches up with you, because she's a tree, and we are on a mountain, you're perched atop the corpse of the her of her champion, whittling his club with your pen pen knife. I'm so stupid. Pen knife. Wow. I, is that how it's written? Pen knife. Is it one word? Not even a like a little dash in between or whatever it's called. Combat damage your equipment. <laughs> My equipment. Wait. Did it equip? Did it damage this too? No. I'm eating your champion. It appears I've mis been underestimated you, hero, she says, raising a rhubarb's, raising rhubarb's arm hesitantly and letting it drop with a bit of thud. Mistake I shan't make again. I'm gonna grow better, boys. But he gave a merry chase, and the queen's word is wrought in gold. Your debt is paid, and here, she clicks her fingers, and your hero sex swells and overflows. Trinkets of the kind you seem to value. Take them in good health. Thirty gold. Fifteen? Rubbish. As she turns to leave, she adds ominously, I wish you luck in your travels adventure, and for your sake I pray you don't catch the eye of the Midsummer Court again. I mean, these boys seem pretty easy to defeat so far. <laughs> Scoop your winnings and begin the long journey back down the mountain. Right, for kinda stronger. <laughs> I mean... Okay. <laughs> Time has come for you and the mapmaker to part company. He pieces together all the rough sketches he has taken during your time together. 
That will be satisfactory, he concludes after a short time. Offers you payment and leaves. Food. <laughs> I see you have begun to appreciate the finer points of our game. Ooh! Oh, I've completed two adventures. Okay, so this is just bragging rights, I think, but I'm having fun. Turn to the capital and search for more adventure! It's nine o'clock. <coughs> Should I steal more adventure? I'm out of water, so I'm gonna first go and get some water. BRB. Ho, 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 you make our poor apprentice. Cultivate focus. Also have some figs. Dried figs. It's always a gamble whether it's gonna be trash or not. Oh god, my teeth! Yum! Adventure! What is that? <laughs> Are these wrestlers? The threat within? Yum! This is shorter. The mages are kind of annoying. Let's do it. Trip to the car carnival. The crowd is gathered around the colorful poster, tacked up in the town square. For the benefit of the others, Chandler reads The Devil's Carnival returns, marvel at its mysteries. Dine on its delectables, delight at its depravities, well, well, fancy debt. An old woman in, is having a seizure, gingerly, puts her hand on your elbow. It's been nearly twenty years since the carnival last came through here. I've been waiting for fifty years. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. You have a kindly face, would you escort me? No good will come of this. <laughs> it's Philosoraptor in a hood. Blood for the beast. Oh no, that's a shadow beast. I'm so stupid. Provide 200 life by the end of the current adventure to succeed. Velus will join you in combat for this adventure. I'm guessing this guy is Velus, the lizard man. Valus Detector. Success! Gain Humble Assistant Blessing. I don't even know what that is. Failure Curse. Two Hundo Life. Well, I'm still on one Hundo, so... I don't think I want to do this, because this would kill me twice over, so... Gambling Tournament. Roll 12 plus... F oh, no. At the end of your current adventure, face a challenging dice game. Dude, if 12 is challenging, then why the hell are there like 14 
the 16 rolls required for a lot of this garbage. Gain 8 gold for every blessing possessed. That's not a lot, I have like 2 blessings. Lose 30 fame, ew. Gold Ransom. Trial, deliver 33 gold. The end of the current adventure, to succeed. Gain 35 fame, or lose 2 blessings? Wait, these levels... Wait. Okay, so the levels are not how many maps there are. Because this is also the current adventure, but it's level 6. I guess this is a difficulty? How the hell is this level 2 chains and this is level 6? That this I could complete right now. I have 33 gold of 33. I can't spend gold. I don't need any of these. It is, of course, simplest to avoid the trials. Exactly. Yet you will find hmm. true greatness escapes you as long as you do. Fuck greatness. Hell yeah. Taking gambling Hansel, because token, and I know what I need to do. Fame check, fight northerners. The Dwarven guy. Hmm. Combat, but I can get stuff. I don't remember this. Gain gold. Do not underthink your decisions. I think this needs a blessing. I need to give a blessing in order to get the good ending. And I have a blessing. At least one, so. Oh no, wait. Maybe gain a blessing. Trade food for rewards. Oh no, maybe it wants food. I mean, I have food as well, so you know what? Fuck it. Goblin Retrainer. Yeah, if I can kill the goblin. Oh no, if I can keep it alive, I get the stuff. Knight's Sword. Gain any. Chance, precision, one handed, what the hell. Silver Deer, but I don't remember. And Thomas the Ogre! Hey! Oh my god, more! Carriage, Little Devil, Mystical Land. Return to Rumstock. Remove curse. Oh yeah, swap curses, right? I think. Something like that. Mystical Island. Boop. Oh, this is where we collect corpses, and if I roll high enough, I get gold because I collected enough corpses. Yeah. New cards! Brigand's Shield! Brigand's Vigor, what is that? Roll life gain card every, after every encounter in which you receive the gain card. It's pretty cool. Chef's Charm. More health from eating, Dead Man's Hand. Aim a spell that deals 50 damage to the first enemy it hits. Causes more damage when your life is low. Maximum 500. Hold down 8 seconds. That's pretty cool. I mean... Aim it. And wait, how do I use this? Oh, 5 uses. Oh, this is an artifact, not a... I keep forgetting, gloves are not... Not an equipment. It's just an artifact. I was like, that's pretty cool. But the 5 is not defense, it's uses. Info shield is a nice and safe choice. But I mean, this is better. Ooh, look! We want the Varden. Get this boy. Then it gives more shields. Oh, King Crown is great. Under his bounty. Gold is added to a random encounter at the start of each new map. Golden shield for money, battered helmet, put it. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna take this, put it on, meet the uh, Keeper of Sorrows, gain a curse card, but don't gain it, but gain the points. Big brain moves right there. Executioner's Axe! Oh look, the thing is back. Healing spirits. Just get big money. 
main weapon and get chef's ring machine. Rings don't deteriorate, so let's stock up on rings, I guess. Feed Conda the Calamitous. A third adventure awaits you. You understand now that these challenges will stretch until time Kaka. itself ends. <laughs> I'm gonna defeat Kaka. All right. Campage. Campage, boys. Brilliant blade. Oh, wow. 25 shadows. Yeah, no, you're a guy right there. Yeah. Shadows, my asshole. Whoa. Let's see, what do we put on? Oh, I am so stupid. I didn't get them in my inventory. I keep thinking I get them in my inventory. No, it's just added to the pile. My dum dum. Uh, blessed food skill. Let's put this on. Alright, let's go with the villager's axe. A little slower, but hey, whatever. Hold on. Oh no, we have to defend him so he gets killed. And then we have to get to the northerner. Oh no, wait, 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 no, no, I forgot. Sorry, my... I think I have the wrong helmet on. No. I switched it to the... Ah, oh, god damn it. I was giving up for the northerner. Fuck! Sword is trash. Oh. Anzal is dead. He'll not cheat again. Stop the northerner. Oh, here we go. My heart! My little heart. The northerner weighed down with gold. You managed to drag him to the ground. That's my gold, bitch! An empire captain arrives with a dozen men and separates you both as well as taking the bag of gold. Looks like Hensel's swindling days are over. But at least we've got... We've got two... His two compa... Ah, I forgot how to read. But at least we've got his two accomplices fighting over the spoils. One of our soldiers interrupts the captain, saying... Wait. Interrupts. Did I read interrogates, or did I... No, I think I read interrupts, but I thought I read interrogates. I was like, wait, what? Why would the soldier interrogate the captain? Wait, don't you know who this is? He tells of some of your adventures. I mean, I did kill a couple of your men, but I am famous, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a billionaire. My apologies, the captain smiles. I didn't realize you were traveling in these parts. Aw. Good work on capturing the northerner. Too bad we didn't get Hensel alive. <laughs> I guess I need to be not famous. So they capture us and we end up in the token. Which is like probably like a prison or something. God damn it, Hansel! One day I'll get your token. Not today, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna do oops, not this. I'm gonna do a smart. Put on the valiant Aegis every time I move. So 
what third time it's gonna cost no food, right? <laughs> smart, smart man. Unless it resets the counter every time I de-equip it. What happens if it goes down to zero defense? Oh, I just. Free. I have learned my lesson about plunging uneducated into the darkness. Free. Oh no, the token. Oh, loot box. Step right up and marvel at the loot box. Shots a man draped in a colorful cloak. You there, sucker! This is pointing you in your direction. Pay to play! Just spend it again! What is this? I'm glad you ask. It's very simple, you see. You get scammed, and the game is over! Ah. Man grabs the gold from you with a smile. And now, move on. If you'd give me another four gold, I can give you a little hint. Have a guess, then. Why don't you? You'll find no treasure to treat yourself to tulips in there. What the fuck does that mean? Pray for food and reach into the darkness. Whatever, dude. So I guess it doesn't matter if I have it on or not. It counts my steps. Because this was three, so... It's pretty cool! What is that? Dangerous files. A bunch of skulls. Hold on. Skulls. This gives me... A blessing to the map if I don't get hit. And food, if I don't get hit more than mean. So I have to have this on. Valiant Aegis, this for damage reduction. So even if I get hit, I might still get the food. Eh, whatever. Let's keep it on. I have this soldier. Jam. Me five skulls, I mean. If I take damage, it's really off to That's really on me. I screw up. Skulls. Watch me, watch me choke. I just mess up big time. Get confused by colors and stuff. Please! I want my blessing! You see? I don't wanna die. I never adopted myself. Ah, Jesus. Oh, nice. Hmm. So that was the food game card. Mm. Brilliant blade. Mm, more damage. Brimstone Bane. Stun Blast. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the Stun Blaster. Not the 225% damage in a single target, I mean... Uh, still kinda low, but... I mean... No shadows around, so let's not put it on. Oh. Where's the blessing on the map? Dude, what? Hello? First time you complete the combat unharmed, add a blessing to the map. Did the rhubarb with the red count even though I didn't have this equipped? Excuse me. I will uh -huh. never understand why you are so eager to carve away the pieces of your soul in exchange for mere objects. Because I'm a human and I'm materialistic as fuck. <clears throat> Cheesing the shit. On the balcony of the tallest tower, you find a pile of treasure, cursed treasure. You are welcome to it, says an adventurer, applying a tourniquet to a severed arm, but know that it is cursed. Chef's charm? 
You bid goodbye to the treasure and the adventurer who seems in terrible pain. Brushes off your concerns merely retorting. May my arm bleed freely as a warning to those who come here. <laughs> okay, buddy. It's not enough to have lived. We should be determined to live for something. I know now that this is my true purpose. Oh, his purpose is to be a warning? You have a purpose, buddy. You have a purpose. What's that? What is that? Oh, that's the blessing! So it did count. The thingy mingy did count. Because that was on from the start, right? Didn't actually pay attention to it. Epic deeds! Wow! Epic deeds! Trial bonus. Successfully complete three trials in a single adventure to draw three game cards and discard this. Well, I didn't gain, didn't take any trials this turn, so I guess I'm gonna carry this. Da -da -da -da. Defeat Canada. Oh, wait. <laughs> Greatest country of the land. Well, that looks like a garbage map layout. Great. Oh. And I can't change my shit. Oh my god, okay, focus down the goblins. I've seen this before. I hate this so much. Oh boy, I hope they didn't take my my something. My our brutality. Cocksuckers! <laughs> ah, I don't care. This is the guy with extra HP. I don't care. My shit. Come back. Give me back my shit. Alright, now we can focus on. Miss. What are you doing, lady? Well, I'm not gonna get any bonus from that helmet. I got hit. Like three times eight or something. It's way more than fifteen. So rip that. Rip my shield, I guess. No! Oh, it just doesn't provide defenses, but I can still use it. I mean, it provided one, so whatever. Take your goblin griefers from the unconscious goblin. They knew what to go for. Smart. As soon as you do, with a sputter, the goblin in question asked and. Awakes and flips away from you, giggling it escapes into the... the, the. Wow. Fleeting fame! Game plus fifteen fame. You lose one fame after every encounter and this bonus is zero. Okay. I looted a blessing from the corpse. Oh my god, I needed that. Oh Jesus. Oh, my fleeting fame. It's fine. I'll live. Wow, so weapons can go down to zero defense or zero damage? That that's kinda garbage. But you can still farm there. Wait, how do you even hmm. I think they go down to one damage. Like there's no way it goes down to zero. Uh, yeah, rip that. That's okay. God damn it. My pious rose. Blast. Uh, the food skills 15. Nay. 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 I cannot say that I see the point in taking a request to retrieve false idols from a false cleric, but you will make your own choices. 
children. Actually, they're fighting northerners here, so... Food! What used to be a lavish monster, he has been taken major from major from a recent raid. A monk Clemens is shame about the missing gold, but even greater tragedy is stolen a holy relic. One to use to search for the raiders. Look, they left the trail. Calls are yet napalm again, an artifact behind a bush. Ah! Potions and poultices have somehow flown under the Empire's radar. It's merely magic frozen in form. It's medicine. Science. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Should put on my brilliant blade just to get through this faster. Well, a trail of abandoned trinkets to find the northern raiders sleeping on top of a pile of treasure in a conspic conspicuous forest clearing. Well, are the authorities take the violent approach, take the stealthy approach, kill them. Choose a card to discard. I should take one of the raiders out before the others wake. Wiping sleep from their eyes, they jump to arms. I hate those bolas dudes. I can go and die in a fire for all I care. Gotta take the berserkers. Berserkers, yes. Hello! I introduce you, Hammer Lady. Go, Hammer Lady, go! No respect for holy ground and holy sights. This is why the Christmas is. Hey, who's talking? Hey! That was Colbjorn. Hello? May turn in the courtyard and studied shit talking the northerners, which is interesting. But here we are, endless. Hey, I only got hit once. Haul the stolen items back to the monastery. Monk grabs the holy relic, it's worth far more than gold. Please take the gold. Thank you. Hmm, I could have taken that uh, gold delivery system. I opted not to. So did I lose one damage? Yeah, I lost some damage. That sucks. Thomas the Ogre! Games, games within games. If 12 is difficult, then why is this goddamn 14? A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Ah! I come! Long shot! Execute for some, X. too morbid a choice of weaponry. For others, that's perfect. Renowned finisher after combat received three fame if you completed three finishers. Well, that's garbage. Take a knee. Was his knockdown to random enemy when activated? Enemies in knockdown can be defeated with a finisher. Nice. Let's put it on because it looks cool. King Scram. Drawing a curse. Platinum card is equipped. The effect of all pain is reduced. Why is this the picture? Rough and ready, but fit for task. I think this is a card that I don't have. And it might be unlocked through Ariadne's thing, so... Fit for the task? Oh. 
nice. A wonderful defense for those who strip corpses of their boots. I mean, it's a cross. Crisscross. Nice. Resist traps. <laughs> Stun blast. Extra roll. Ooh, light armor. This is awesome. This is an awesome thing. Five defense, too. Those who would strike you from afar should think twice. Wait, I got this too? Oh yeah, this is my reward for getting the dice game. That was just a blessing, of course. Nice. Empire murderer. I mean, it's good damage. Put it yes, all the game. Manual dexterity. Why, that was too easy. Nicely timed. Oh well. Hmm, perhaps I took too many laxatives. Uh. Hmm. Armor breaker. Let's take the rings because they don't deteriorate, so. A little more healing from food, why not? Play the card game. That's okay. I'd never seen what happens if we win all things. And I won't see it. Never mind, I lost. Thank you for visiting. Goodbye. Maybe he gets in range and kills my ass. Dazzling Ablada. I have a bunch of stuff. I have well equipped myself. Put this on. We only need to put on the uh, pious robes when we go to garbage food. And currently we don't really have a fear of that. Good luck taking this token from me. Asshole! I can easily take the token because I have two blessings. And a bunch of curses, because I'm cool. If I get another curse, I'm gonna lose something. Hell yeah. The depth of the forest, you find a woman crying. They stole my child. Then in the middle of the ring, everything fades, your vision returns, but the forest is no longer the same. The trees are purple, and the sky shines yellow with a bright blue sun. The Pharaoh. Encounter a brownie. With a head too big for his body. I'm so hungry. He'll spare me some food. Yeah. Catch the twinkle in his eyes as you present him with a delicious feast. Hmm. Delicious feast. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's starting to sweat there. Almost. He munches on a bread roll. Whatever you do, if you see the phone, don't believe a word he says. He almost always, almost always lies. He says with his mouth full. Okay. Walk along the path following the cheerful sound of a pipe instrument. Come up to a fork in the road, where a fawn plays his pan flute, while clicking his hooves about. Can I help you, he asks. You inquire about the missing child. Oh yes, but yay hi, scruffy clothes, yes. He went the dead away, he says, pointing to the path to the left. Bye. Tread lightly down the path and come to Maleficent Castle. The drawbridge is lowered, so you walk inside. Many goblins and fairies gather in the Queen's Court. Upon the throne sits the queen, a cherub with four faces and a serpent's tail. The first face is a womanly face, the second belongs to a panther, the third face of a goat, the fourth is that of a swan. Hot. The queen opens all her mouth is, and you don't understand a word, she babbles because it's like a cacophony of sounds. A mere meow shall I make her word, what have you done? Explain you're looking for a missing child. She looks you up and down and says, Alder! <laughs> mm. Epic deeds! Goblin mm. walks out of the chamber holding the hand of a small child. Oh, it only needs one! Oh no, the owl dude is the two blessings, I think. 
escorts you and the child to another fairy ring and sends you on your way. You reappear in the meadow where the mother waits anxiously. You reunite the mother with her child. The mother embraces the child and thanks you profusely. I will say a prayer for you every day. For at least one day. <laughs> Mother's blessing. Undying love. At the beginning of each new map, draw a blessing if you have more curses than blessings. Whoa! And it's perma. That's Nicely done. That's nice. I have a bunch of curses, thank you. Nice. That's good for the long run, I guess. Mm. Oh, fuck! Enter a local tavern on your promise of cheap sugared buns. Sugar red. <laughs> tavern is empty and the door slams behind you. An ambush! Not an ambush. I don't think I have the Mage Slayer thingy. I have the Shadow Slayer blade, right? So... It's fine that I couldn't equip my stuff, just don't get hit, I guess, is the name of the game. <laughs> Let's kill some women, I guess. <laughs> In a video game, century of persecutions left only the most martial still willing to call themselves mage. They just create pools of dark magic. Kill him. Kill him, quick! Quick! In the forge is hard. Yeah. Ah. This is like a holiday. Kill it. Oh, I forgot they have the. Thanks. They have the garbage. The mages are asses. Yeah, don't touch that. One, they are not much. What is my weapon's thing? Some kind of map white stun? Nice. Cursory inspection of the town reveals no sugared buns. Hey, why did I get max life? Was that Inventory stuff? No. No, it's the blessing, but it, it gave me the food. What is this? Because a short stun to ranged enemies. Nice. And your current attacker. What's my current attacker? Interesting. My dazzling blade lost things. No. Oh, blade. Yeah. <clears throat> That's okay. Is it fair? I mean, do I need to go this way? Not really, right? Yeah, let's just carry on. Do my big boy stuff. Big boy stuff. Big boy stuff. So I don't need to discover things. When you reach the forest clearing, the Devil's Carnival is far less grand than you were expecting. The legends spoke of the magnificent caravans, colorful pennants, and fabulous pyrotechnics. This is just a couple of tents and a petting zoo. The old woman senses your disappointment. These years have been hard on all of us, dearie, and now I'll kill you. It's gonna be her that's the evil one, right? She enters the largest tent. A group of mages stand around the summoning circle. The runes at their feet crawled in blood. No one's going to fall for this, eh, Gilly? It seems like you owe me a farting. 
Kill A! Fine, I'll pay up after we deal with these new sacrifices. Okay, so the, it's not the old lady, it's... How many are going to join this guy? That's it, one arcane? Huh. Huh. Fun. Fun game. Although this is the boss mage. Canada! At first hint of you having been sent by the Empire, she determined that only one of you would live. Maybe you shoot projectiles, dodge them. Hey, Ariadne, kill. Get him! Impaled. Impaled on a stump. Great. Oh no, my damaged equipment. Why do I always get... Wait, I didn't get hit. Okay, so weapons do get damaged. No matter what. And the rest gets damaged from getting hurt. Just like I thought it would happen. Which is good. Good, good. Acrobatics, conjuring in the light show, just as I remembered. The old woman says delighted, and here you were thinking this would be a letdown. Combat damage your equipment. You try to explain to her just how come, how close she came to, de <laughs> to death, but she won't listen. Now, now, let's go take a look at the mythical ex Esquilux, and then we'll see who's earned a nice caramel apple. Hmm. I never had caramel apple. Sounds like a messy food to eat. Put an apple on a stick, cover it in caramel, and you like it. <laughs> Try to eat it without shitting all over your shirt, I guess. Then again, I might be mistaken. Might be an easy food to eat. You wouldn't say no to a caramel apple. Yeah, I didn't get my uh, my sugared buns, so... Gain food, gain... Oh, that's it. Oh, caramel apple. Ages are stronger. Let us delve okay. deeper still into the secrets of this game. But this is a game. Alright, I, I don't think I want to do another one. Now the challenge begins. Oh god. Prepare yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Enemy unknown. What is this? XCOM? Not a game I should stream one day. Good game. Adventure ends with a combat against powerful enemies. Expect to encounter their kind. <laughs> but what enemies? Who knows? Probably northerners or or uh, bandits. Those two kinds are annoying. So restore your life or die. That's kind of garbage seeing as I'm on full life. Although it's level 2. I guess it's easy. I might look this up what this means. Because it's kind of inconsistent. This is level four. Shit! Shit! Those! I have the shadow sword, so I'm definitely choosing this. Shadow games. This adventure ends with a combat against a powerful shadow. Expect to encounter that kind on your journey. I need to do this. To farm that sword. But what happens if I quit? I could exit to the title. Or forfeit. Are you sure you want to quit? No. You must complete your current encounter before you can forfeit. But if I forfeit, then what does it even... What? what? Hello? I don't mind if it cancels the entire thing. Although it looks like it... No. Just go back to the title. Like if it cancels it and I have to start from the beginning, that's fine by me. 
Actually, it's not fine. Ah, uh, my tokens! Uh, I forgot about the tokens! Well, I... Oh my god! That's a face only a mother could love. Oh no, my tokens. My tokens, please. Please. That's the snake. Oh, my tokens are still here. Okay, good. So we can just... So if I forfeit... Oh look, this is before the mage fight. That's fine by me. It might give me different challenges next time, but... Yeah. Because if I forfeit, that ends it. And I get the tokens and so on and so forth. But if I just go to the title, I can continue. Good. Because I don't want to continue right now. You can continue later to... Just do this, I guess. I feel like this is definitely a worse way of farming companions, but it's fun. You know, something the uh, deliberate farming would not be, you know, fun, at least in my opinion. So, as long as I'm having fun with the endless, I'm just gonna do endless. And then we can farm the companions and, you know, be bored and go through it and then be able to do the uh, judgment gold token. Then again, I still have to get good and not die to the casket, man, but that's for another day. I'm done for today. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Endless modes, I, I feel like it's better than the endless mode in the first game, but it's literally just, you just go and go, I think, if I remember correctly, you just, you don't even have a deck, you just go, and you just get all sorts of stuff, and every time you get to the level change, you get a curse, I, I think that's how it was, and also enemies get stronger, I might be mistaken, but this one, this one feels fun for now, you know? It's, it's cool. And we met three people, so yeah. I'll definitely do this more. Bye. For now.